Last week, we used the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. And you also use the secondary colors, orange, green, and violet, or purple. And we use those to make the intermediate colors. Remember, we use more yellow to make orange. We use more red to make, and a little bit of orange to make red orange. We use a lot of red and a little violet to make red violet. We use a lot of blue and a little bit of violet to make blue violet. And you use a lot of blue and a little bit of green to make blue green. Then last, we use a lot of yellow and a little bit of green to make yellow green. Now today on your castle, you're going to experiment and practice doing the same thing, only it's going to be a lot more fun because you're going to get to do it on your castle. Now, I like to start out with yellow because it keeps the yellow clean and we don't get all the other colors on on your um, markers. Now remember, if you don't have markers at home, it's okay. Just use your crayons and uh, color lightly and maybe overlap the colors and that'll help them look more, uh, more detailed and more mixed. Now we're also, I want you to know the a word for today, two new words for today. Let me write them down. The first one is hue. H U E and the name of a of a hue is the same as the color The other word is a review word that we learned about I, I mentioned at the beginning of the architecture lesson and it's called facade the facade is the front of a building All right now before we do add color to your facades of your castle I want you to make sure that you have all the details added in that you'd like to add because once you start using the water you can't go back and use your markers so um, I think I'll go ahead and draw you a dragon right here in case anybody wants to add a dragon and we're gonna start out with this nose of the dragon and I'm gonna go bump bump and put a little circle inside of each bump then curve that around. Then you're going to do a smile. Then I'm going to come above these little bumps and I'm going to do bigger bumps for the eyes. Let's give the dragon some pupils. I'm going to draw a little curve right here for the dragon's head. Let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see better. There we go. Let me wait just a minute and let y'all get uh, caught up in case you're behind. All right, so we've got the nose here. We've got the eyes and we've got the little chin. We're gonna add some ears. A curve and back. Think of them as triangles. All right, and then for the front, I'm going to go big curve, I'll do two of them, looks like an M, and then I'm going to go some little sideway curves here, ovals, and then I'm going to draw some little triangles on the end for little toes. Now if you don't like the dragon when I'm finished, then you can always look one up on YouTube. All right, let's go across here and we're going to do some zigzags. And the zigzags are going to keep going all the way around till you almost get 
to the ears. Then I'll curve around all the way around. And then I'll stop right here. And we're going to add a back leg. As you hear my doggies out there. I'm going to do an oval and some more toes. Then I'm going to do a little smile right here. Let's add another line right here to the back of the dragon. Let's see. I think I can add the back leg right here. And we'll, there's my dragon standing up in the doorway. I'm going to let you get caught up. All right, so we're going to start with yellow. What hue is this? Yellow. And it's a primary color. I'm just going to put the primary colors down to start out with. And I'll put my secondary colors over to the side. Now remember, yellow is very important because we need yellow to make yellow orange and to make yellow green. So I'm going to add yellow everywhere that I want something to be yellow or yellow orange or yellow green. And I'm going to add a lot of it because you add more of the primary colors um, to get the, the intermediate colors. All right, I'm going to come up here. Let's see. I'll add color to my sun. Now, the small stuff, you can go ahead and color in all the way. But the big stuff, we want to um, make outlines. Oh, I see. I forgot the rest of my rooftop right here. Let me finish adding these shingles on. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to outline whatever I want to be yellow, yellow, orange, or yellow, green. The more marker you add, the better you'll like your picture when we add water. And um, I apologize, I forgot to tell you guys you're going to need a brush this week, like a paintbrush. Um, if you can't find a paintbrush, ask your mom and dad if they have any Q-tips, and you can use those and dip those in water. It might take you a little bit longer, but it still works. Now, what you're doing today, it takes a, a little bit of time and patience. So if you get tired, take a break and come back to this. All right, do you see how I'm making these wide lines? You have to hold your marker kind of at an angle. That way you can get the whole thing. You can get the line as wide as you want it. Now you might think, well, Miss Richardson, why are you adding yellow to the to the bridge. Well, later I want this to be brown. And if you mix the three primary colors together, what do you think you get? You get brown. Go ahead and color this in. I need lots and lots of yellow for this. I might want my dragon. I'm going to think about what color I want my dragon. I know I want some yellow green in my grass. So I'm going to go ahead and add yellow green here. Add yellow first and then we'll add, I can add a little bit of green. I could also just use yellow and blue if I didn't have green, right? 
If I didn't have orange and I wanted yellow orange, I could just have yellow and a little bit of red, right? All right, so I've got pretty much got my yellow everywhere I want it. I might add a little bit in the water because I'd like my water to be a little bit yellowy green, bluish, like that, maybe like the ocean a little bit. You might want to go around all your bubbles and your fish. And my fish are actually going to be yellow-orange, so if I get yellow on them, it's not a big deal. Alright, I'm going to take a break from the yellow. And let me go ahead and get out my red. Now you don't want to color like all crazy on, on things that you want to look smooth. Otherwise, you might get a result you don't you don't like so much. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and color all my I want my flowers to be red. Make sure you, you guys use the colors, like don't just copy me, be creative. But just make sure you start with the lighter colors first, the warm colors. That way you don't get them um, messed up. If I were to draw with like, let's say I was going to draw with a purple and I got yellow on it. Well, guess what? That's going to make brown also. Any colors that are across from each other on the color wheel. I'm going to get the color wheel out real quick. Any colors that are across from each other are going to make brown and colors that are across from each other remember are complementary colors so if i get purple and yellow together it's going to make brown if i get red and green mixed up it's going to make brown and if i get blue and orange mixed up it's going to make brown and that's fine if that's what you want but just keep that in mind all right Let's get our red, and I'm going to add some red, because I want to make orange, and I want to make red-orange. Let's see. Now, I've got another drawing that I'm going to show you that I've finished adding all the color to. I didn't want you guys to have to watch me do this whole castle. Cause it takes so it takes a while see maybe I want this darker because it's going into the castle the door this little part right here that makes it 3d so I can just go ahead and color that red Do the windows. I hope you guys are having a good day today. I hope you had fun mixing your colors last week. Hope everybody's staying safe. And finding stuff to do when you get your homework finished. Alright, let's see. I've got red and yellow. So that will make, I could possibly make orange here. I could make a little bit of orange on some of my bricks. My main color I want for my castle is yellow, is yellow orange. So that's why you see so much yellow. And let's add a little bit of blue because remember I said I wanted my my drawbridge to be brown so I'm going to add a little bit of blue to these other three colors other two colors and these three colors should come together and make brown later 
All right, I see something I forgot down here. I need to add some red to the bottom of my bridge right here. All right, getting too particular. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then I'll add a little bit of blue, and we'll see what happens. I may not have added enough of one of the colors to make brown. Now, you remember, you can always go back after your paper dries, but don't try to do, make any changes until it's all the way dry, because I don't want you to mess up your markers. All right? Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and show you one that I've added all the colors to and explain what I did. Let's see. All right, so... You're probably thinking, Miss Richardson, why would you need to add color to this picture? Well, I want it to look a little more like paint, and I want to blend these colors to make the intermediate colors that we made last week. So, let's talk about this real quick again. Alright, so I've got my intermediate colors here, and you might want to find yours. And if you didn't mix your colors together and you had markers, go ahead and do that before so you can see. Um, Alright, so I've added a lot of yellow to my sky because I want it to be a yellowish green color. But I added extra blue so it would look a little bit more um, turquoise. Okay, a little more bluish green. I didn't want it to be just plain blue. When you look at the water, I went ahead and colored it all the way because I was worried about uh, painting over my bubbles and possibly turning my fish brown. So that's why I went ahead and colored the water like that. I may paint over this just a tad bit with water, but I'll have to be really careful. You'll see with the grass... I added lots of yellow and green, and when I paint the grass, I'm going to want to paint vertically if I can. That way it'll mimic or look more like real grass. What color do you think my castle is going to be? It'll be probably yellow-orange on some parts where I have a lot of yellow, and then it'll be more red orange where I've added extra red and I've even added some orange in here as well I'll have to be really careful when I come to these bricks that I colored purple because I don't want them to turn brown if they do it's not a big deal uh, remember to try your best and forget the rest on this castle I've drawn a dragon in the sky and I went ahead and colored it red and added a little bit of purple to make or violet to make the red uh, the red violet up here I wanted to use a different uh, movement with my marker for the sky to make it look more like um, fluffy or cloud like and so it contrasts against the vertical lines that I have in the grass remember the sky meets the ground at the horizon line so you shouldn't have just a strip of blue at the top the sky goes all the way down to the ground all right let's add some water and see what you guys think about this let me get my water out all right now just like when we paint it and in our classroom, in the art room, we always want to start with the warm colors first. That way our water stays clean. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of water to my... I haven't decided if this is going to be a sun or a moon. Next, I want to add water to my lighter warm colors up here with the yellows and the reds. Remember, if you if you didn't add enough marker, once it dries a little bit, you can go back and add more. Now, I'm going over the red right here to pick it up and move it up a little bit. You see how that's turning more orange now? 
You might even want to leave some parts where you don't paint over them. I might leave some of my windows where I don't paint over the whole thing. I don't need to paint over my flags. Now this should be a little bit lighter than this up here because I've got way more yellow. If I want more orange, I come over here and I can even make it look a little more 3D by dragging that darker color over and not necessarily spreading it on the whole cylinder. Same thing at the bottom. See how I'm doing that? Let's add some water up here to these to this column like structure. We've got lots of cylinders on our castles, or you should. I do on mine. If you don't, that's okay. See, I think I'll go ahead and paint the windows. As long as you don't, uh, you keep in mind that your castle may not turn out like you had planned. That doesn't make it bad. It's just part of being an artist. And you just kind of go with it. Try your best and forget the rest. Some of the best artwork that I've seen has changed from what the artist originally planned on it looking like. And remember, you can always draw another castle on your spare time. You can even get your mom or dad or grandma to do one with you. You can teach them how to do this. Or your brother or sister. Or a friend. Let's see if I can get each column to kind of match. I'm trying really hard. I've got to keep my brush out of the blue until I'm ready to do the sky because I don't want to drag that color over. Hopefully you have a bigger brush than what I have. If you guys used Q-tips, you're going to want to work very quickly because it's going to, I'm worried that the Q-tips are going to absorb the ink the hue, all the hues. You know, I've even used my finger before. That might be a better idea. I might try that with the sky and see how it turns out. That way, you guys that don't have paint brushes, you can just maybe use your finger as long as you clean them between colors. All right, so I've got my yellows and my yellow oranges. All complete next I want to do my cool colors I don't want to do my brown yet let's see I'm gonna do the little dragon's wings so they look like purple let's see can y'all see that remember you don't want to paint over the same spot too many times or it's gonna it could rip your paper all right so now I think I will add just a little bit of water to my water down here in the little stream I'm gonna be real careful not to get it on my bubbles I have to just barely tickle the paper with the tip of my brush remember when you're trying to get in between little areas stain your brush up tall like a soldier that way only the tip of your brush touches your paper. See, it's kind of blending them a little bit more. Looking a little bit more like water. See what y'all, I'm, I'm curious to see what you guys think. You'll have to send me a message on our classroom, Google Classroom. Or class dojo, whichever one you you prefer. Let 
Let's see what the grass is going to look like. Ooh, I like it. Trying to go up and down like the grass grows straight up out of the ground. And be real careful when I go around my flowers. Oh, I see something I forgot on my warm colors. That'll probably happen to you. Um, I need to go back and do my... I want to paint over my door right there. You guys might even want to keep like a cup of water for warm colors and a cup of water for cool colors. Luckily, my water is still pretty clean, so I can go ahead and paint over this right here. I'm not seeing much difference. How about you guys? I'd have to add a lot of water. Kind of move the ink around on the paper. There we go. All right, let me finish a little bit more green. Get my grass in here. Let you guys see the dragon on this side. I think this is my favorite way to make art. One of my favorites anyway. So easy and some of it will be a surprise. All right, let's do the sky. It should be more of a blue green instead of a yellow green. Because I added so much blue. And I want to kind of go in circles here. But be careful with your paintbrush. If your paintbrush starts looking all scraggly. Like it's had a bad hair day. Then you're probably rubbing. You're doing it too hard. And your brush needs more water. If your brush looks like that. I've got to be real careful going in between here. Because I don't want to get the, the green. Or the blue green on the castle. Or the red flags. I have to be really super careful when I go around those things. I think the hardest part for you guys is going to be patience when you're when you're adding marker to your picture because you want to hurry up and rush and get to the water part. But if you'll just take a little more time when you're doing your marker, you'll have more fun when you add your water to the color. Oops, let me scoot this down. There we go. I even like seeing the marker, the lines that I've made with the markers. It shows, it kind of adds a little bit more uh, movement to the picture. Kind of looks like cloud, cloudy a little bit more too, which is what I was wanting. wanting. Y'all make sure and message me and let me know how you're doing. I hadn't got to see you guys, it seems like, in forever. Okay, let's scoot this over. You see how it's starting to come together and look more finished? Part of the sky is going to be a little bit lighter, and I did that on purpose. Because you want to have some variety in your picture. Ooh, that's kind of a neat look where that water got right there. I must have dripped it. I like that. If you guys have any salt, you can add the salt to your water. 
at like right after you put the water on the water when you put the water on your little river if you have salt I don't have any salt because I accidentally broke my salt shaker yesterday but if you have salt you can sprinkle it on your wet water down at the bottom and it'll make it it'll make it have a neat texture and add a little more variety to your pitcher Ooh, I like how the sky is making, I can see yellow green and blue green. That looks cool to me. Oh, I can't wait to see what you guys do. See, I think I'm almost finished. And when this dries, I could go back and add a little bit more marker if I wanted to. And add, highlight a few things. Um, next week we're going to start something new, so try your best to get these finished and turned in. Or take a photo of them, I mean, and post them on uh, Class Dojo 